G'day viewers, my name is Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. Well, viewers, here we are today with, I think personally, the master of master artists, uh, Joseph Zbogvich, uh, who, who I think is just extraordinary. I've seen a lot of Joseph's work over the years and obviously followed his career, but uh, to, to say it's an honour to be with you today is an understatement, my friend. It's just, it's an extraordinary situation Thanks, to be Graham. here. You should never start, put your brush to the paper, unless you are almost dead certain in what you're using, how you're going to use it, what it is going to be, and see it in your mind's eye. If you if you're just blindly going and see what happens, it'll be just happy accidents. And that's okay for you know abstracts and things, but a, a realistic painting like this, you've really got to concentrate and say, look at that for a second. So you'll find that I often fiddle and fiddle with pigment here and do all sorts of things. I seem to be doing nothing, but I'm actually doing probably the most important part of this painting. What destroys uh, paintings is not technique, it's lack of confidence, lack of belief, faith. That's what ruins it, you know. Um, if you don't believe that it's going to work, you'll never convince the viewer that it will work. You can see that this is now starting to work as a wet road. But let's get in, because there's so much information that Barry has to actually give that I really want to move right into what you do. But we're going to go over here and he's going to show us how he starts setting these out. The proportional divider is, it's been around for many years. Um, they even say it could be tracked back to the Egyptians, but it's been around for at least you know, a couple of hundred years. So how do you use this thing? What I do is I, I have a look at the face and I move the arms out and I put it on to the chin and the forehead okay. and then I take that shape using these ones and there it is there. I can't believe that we don't have an apprenticeship. You know, like 100 years, 150 years ago, mm. there, there would have been an apprenticeship um, mm. to be an artist. So, and, and basically you, you sit with the person that's in authority and you learn all their, their trade. What happened to that apprenticeship? Yeah. You know, it just went. You know, it was kind of like photography came in and, and uh, there's no need for well, that's in right. a sense that's part of what you're doing now because this education is uh, passing on that legacy as well. So, very, and, very, and, and I very feel important. that's what our job is. Our job is to educate and pass on that knowledge. And as you can see, Frank's actually done this piece for us yesterday, just specifically for this, this show. And you've got another one over there, which I think is an amazing art piece. It's a commission that you've actually been asked to do, isn't it? Yes. yes. Well, you see, for, for, for a piece like this, you're going to need to know your anatomy reasonably well. Yeah. But just the, just uh, the story and the caricature of itself. I mean, it's, it's almost uh, Norman Rockwell well, the, the, uh, in the, its approach. Of, of the two, the two uh, people are, are just a vehicle. Yeah. The piece is here. Yeah. This is really this right is in the this is really the pieces. Yeah. You got a little so airbrush there? I've got a little airbrush with my black on. Yeah. And we heat it up. It's got to be a certain temperature. Okay. It work. About 110 degrees C. Okay. <laughs> Now we're, now we're going to put some uh, copper nitrate on it. Yes. Now, temperature here is critical. Yeah. And you can hear, you can hear from the noise if it's right. Beautiful. A lot of artists get the, the foundry to patina their work, yeah. you know. Um, but I just like patinaing my own work. Okay, it's getting a little bit cold. Yeah. And that gives you a different effect as well. Yeah, if you make yeah. it cold, you can get a lovely watery effect. Now we let it cool, so the next step is to polish it. Thank you for having us here today. What a uh, pleasure. It's been great, mate. And we've what just, a pleasure. I think everybody's learned so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you bud. Yep. We've learned so much about being with this amazing master sculptor. He's a, he's a good man. <laughs> he's a good man. <laughs> There's no other way to put it, but uh, uh, it's been a great day, really. Thank you very much. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles, and mums and dads, and come and see how some of the best artists in Australia do what they do.